In this video, Melody and I are going to take you on a ride on the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway. I'm on top of the mountain right now. You're, you surely will not regret taking a ride on the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway. I'll tell you everything you need to know about the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway in this video. Let's get to it. Melody and I are here at the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway this morning. We're going to ascend to the top of this mountain right behind us. Let us show you around. It looks like the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway Valley Station is at an elevation of 2,645 feet. Okay, we're at Valley Station and we're gonna go get our tickets. Okay, we got our tickets. We're all set and it looks like we're heading to the top of the mountain at 11.15 a.m. And while we're waiting, we're gonna go up to the Tram View patio. So here's the tram, the bottom of the mountain. And there is a tram on its way down right now. And that is a, supposed to be the world's largest rotating tram car. Palm Springs Aerial Tram. We are really stoked about going to the top of this mountain. One of the better things to do here in Palm Springs, California. On the aerial tram observation deck, this is a real nice area out in here. Looks like uh, there's a dining down in there and up on the observation deck. You have a nice view looking up the mountain. And of course you can observe the tram on its way up and down. And there goes the next lift up the mountain. It's a 10 minute trip from the valley station up to the top. Well, we are in the boarding station waiting to get on the 1115 tram up to the top of the mountain. This tram's going to take us to San Jacinto Mountain and San Jacinto State Park is at the top of the hill. Okay, here we hey, go. Welcome to the Palm Springs Aerial Tram, everybody. My name is John. We'll be tramping through at the end of the mountain. Who to this day is known as the father of the tramway. The original tramway was completed in September 1963. Okay, welcome to the mountain station, everybody. Elevation 8,516 feet. If you want to go take, you got to go another couple thousand feet up. <laughs> Which means you'd want to go down to the hiking trails. The hiking trails are on the lower level. You're going to go downstairs by the hiking trails, Natural History Museum, a couple documentary films. And the movie. Well, we just got off the tram. We have arrived at Mount San Jacinto State Park in California. And we're going to sit right over here on this ledge, taking the scenery. And, uh, collect ourselves. So as you leave Mountain Station, there is a paved walking trail that takes you down the hill. And that's where we're going now. The mountain air is so refreshing after coming up from the desert floor. So our first stop was to the Mount San Jacinto State Park Long Valley Ranger Station, elevation 8,415 feet. And uh, there was a very kind law enforcement officer in there that pointed us to these notches. So we're right here at the ranger station. We're going to come down this trail. We're going to go to notch five, notch four, two, three, and one. These all have overlooks of the desert floor. So here we go. 
Yeah, a forested wonderland. I am really digging this place. I better catch back up with Melody. Continuing our journey on Desert View Trail to the overlooks in this entire trail will not disappoint. This is the view from notch number five of the desert floor. Palm Springs is down there. We took the tram ride up with Lisa and Chris. Yep. Correct. And uh, wow, this is, uh, what do you think? It's very gorgeous. beautiful, very beautiful. And uh, we're excited to uh, go to Joshua Tree and check out your video from yesterday. Hoo <laughs> we're almost to the next notch with this. Scenery is just so spectacular. I wanted to give you a little pan panoramic view here. The next notch is just around the corner. I love showing and showcasing free and affordable RV camping locations, but my very next best thing to do with my YouTube channel is to show you really cool places to visit like this. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is notch number four. A ride up on the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway will give you views just like this. Yep. When Melody and I were up at Joshua Tree National Park just a few days ago, up at Keys View, we could see the Salton Sea from up there. You can also see the Salton Sea, actually a better vantage point of it, from uh, up here at notch number four. And this is a full frontal view from notch number three. And this is your view from notch number two. We have arrived at notch number one. And down there, you'll see the desert floor. And if you look real close, you can see the windmills. Once you reach the top, if you want to rent a locker, six quarters will get you a locker this size. On the lower floor, they have a very nice visitor center here at Mountain Station with quite a few exhibits. On the top floor, they have a bar, and it even looks like they have entertainment in the evening. They actually have a cafe and then the Peaks Restaurant. And outside of the cafe and Peaks Restaurant, they have a upper level observation deck. And from the observation deck, this is a look back at the tram. The tram takes off right there. And then this observation deck wraps around and you have this awesome view the desert valley floor. Wow. And you can even go one step higher on the observation deck to the VW Grubbs viewpoint right up there. The sign on the observation deck says that is the San Andreas Fault. You're looking at the San Andreas Fault down there. And this is the view from the Grubbs observation deck.
We hope you enjoyed this overview and tour of the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway. It truly is a must-see attraction when visiting Palm Springs.